Let us pray. O God, who are pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life in the bonds of charity, and so in the joy of your house and delight one day in eternal reward. We make our prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who gathers us here in the Holy Spirit to be one with one another and one with you, our God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
so must you also do. And over all these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the gospel of the Lord. Good evening. Good evening. So, I wanted to start with a little story. Many years ago, when I was just a youngster, might have been the last millennium. <laughs> I lived in a house on 231 Wabash Avenue. It was a cake house with a dormer. Had two by four walls and aluminum siding. You know the kind where you rubbed your finger across, you got white on your finger? It's not the vinyl siding we have today. But what does this matter? Well, it doesn't matter what a house looked like or how it was built, does it? What matters, it was there, 231 Wabash Avenue, that I learned what the love of family was all about. As I grew there with my mother, single mom, my dad had died when I was just two. But yet there, I learned all about love. I learned what it meant to be family. My brother, Ralph. Now, I also have to share that I was an unexpected pleasure. At least that's what I call myself. My sister was 15, nearly 16. My brother was 11. When I came on the scene, I don't think my mother was expecting a baby at that point in time. Yet I was loved and accepted, even though she would lose of the love of her life, two short three years later. But I remember growing up, being part of like some things like Boy Scouts. I'm looking at Ed there, who was so involved in the Scouts for years. And the Scouts was very important to me, growing up as a child. i never forget the first night I went to a Scout meeting. And the scoutmaster talked about the, that they were planning on doing a camping trip that very weekend. And I was so excited. But I said, I don't have a backpack or a pack or, you know, or a sleeping bag or any of those. He said, don't worry. He says, get a pair of your father's pants and tie off the legs. You'll make a backpack. Some blankets is fine for, for a sleeping bag. I'm so excited. And I'm sorry I'm getting a little emotional, but that very night I got home, my brother, who must have been 25 at the time, because I thought he'd been more than a nine or 10, maybe 11. And um, so my brother is 11 years old, so maybe he was 23. And we get home, and he says, help me with some stuff in the trunk. He opened the trunk, and in there was a sleeping bag, a pack, a mess kit, a canteen, everything I needed. My brother stepped in when my father was absent. See, my friends, and I'm sorry I, I get emotional every time I talk about this story. The fact of the matter is, it was there at 231 Mount Bashan when I came to understand the gift of family. Now, each of our experience of family is unique, without a doubt. We face our own joys and our challenges and our experience of what it means to be in relationship with a family. My mother and my brother and my sister and I, we experienced great times that held wonderful sentimental memories, like the story I just shared with you, touching moments of our lives. But each of us, as family, have those moments, moments of vacation that are like no other, the gift of a new child that welcomed into your family. Graduation, marriages, and retirements. Together as family, we face you know, times of pain, 
We know times of discouragement. Look at what we're facing right now in the midst of this pandemic. Swords that pierce us and rends us to the bone. We face our own failures, financial stresses, disagreements and resentments, illness and death. The coronavirus this year, as I mentioned, has been a source of pain for each and every one of us gathered here. But all of it is part of learning to live as a family as we come together and face these challenges together, you and I. We come together as Christ's family. Yeah, family sometimes is a messy thing. But there's such wonderful, joy-filled moments in it, all of it. What are some of the attributes that families need to live together as God's intent for all of us. First, I, as I was pondering that, what, what do we need to have come, live together as family? What are the things we need? What are all mentioned in the scripture? Mercy. We need mercy. To receive it and to pass that on to another. Loving and forgiving each other as God loves and forgives us. Kindness. Being understanding in times when we want to shake them in anger. As God is kind and understanding with us, even when there are times when we just don't get it. Patience. Empowering one another to find our own way in our own time. Even when we're tempted to nag them into submission, as God patiently waits and walks with us to find the way to Him. When we live lives of kindness and mercy and patience, my friends, with our families and with one another, we begin to do something very special. We begin to learn more and more how to love as God loves. The agape love, an unconditional love, that binds us together as family, that binds us to God as his family, not the brothers and sisters of Christ himself. God has given us this marvelous example with Mary, Jesus, and Joseph, the holy family. Mary patiently waiting on God Submissive to God's plan, loving and nurturing to her child and to others whom Jesus brought to her. When are we like Mary, patient, submissive, nurturing? Joseph with great kindness, loved Mary, unconditionally, trusting her in spite of uncertainty. This is whose child? God's child? Leading them to safety with strength and conviction. Mary, get up. We have to go to Egypt. We're after our son. How do we treat others with kindness? How do we trust in God's love and guidance in our lives? How do we allow God to lead us to say to the safety of his arms and not resist his love? Jesus, both God and man, son of God, son of Mary, were heard in the being of mass, brings God's hope and peace into a dark world, yet he honored his parents, his earthly parents, loving and obeying them. Model for us. I often want to repeat to my sons, don't, don't, don't be mad at your, you know, your father when he gets old and forgetful. 
because I am. <laughs> because of the Holy Family, Mary, Jesus, and Joseph, yes, their yes to God sent us true hope by the way of their son, Jesus. So our eyes have seen what Simeon and Anna prophesied. Coming of God's kingdom in our midst. God's gift. The true gift of peace and joy given to all God's children. So, my friends, as Christmas was just upon us, as we dwell upon the Holy Family and our call to be God's family. May the love shared by that holy family always adorn our lives together. And may God always bless each of our families with this true joy and peace that Chris, Christmas and the birth of Christ brings to each of us. God bless you all. Do you believe in God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? Amen. Do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Amen. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We should be proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The favor of God was upon Jesus as he matured. We now pray that the favor of the Lord may be upon us as we give voice to all those in need. And our response is glory to you, Lord Jesus. For the church, we treat our sisters and brothers with Passion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. As we strive to build God's kingdom throughout the entire human family, we pray. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. For leaders of nations, that they may respect the bond of individual families, as well as foster, and foster the unity of the human family across the nations, we pray. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. For parents and babies, children and teens, children and teens, that they may exercise patience as they raise their children with love and kindness, we pray. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. For the healing and hope for parents who have lost a child, we pray. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. The members of this community may reach out to those who, without immediate family, and offer their love and time in giving witness to the bond we share in Christ, we pray. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. For the sick of our parish and all the names in our prayer basket, we pray. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. For those who have passed from this earth, especially Danielle Diaz, and our mass intention for all past parishioners, we pray. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Jesus. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts and all our intentions spoken and unspoken, we do pray. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Heavenly Father, we look to the Holy Family for inspiration and support as we nurture the bonds of love that bind our families together. Listen to our needs and grant our prayers for the one whose coming we proclaim, Jesus Christ, our Lord. <laughs>
My friends, pray that my sacrifice and yours will be accepted by God, our Almighty Father. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that, through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and St. Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awful mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours. And begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you, and in joyful celebration we acclaim. Everlasting gift to you, 
so that we may obtain an inheritance with your saints, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, and your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Vincent de Paul, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession we rely for help. Lord, may this sacrifice, which has made our peace with you, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, which your servant Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family that you have gathered here before you. In mercy and in love, unite all your children wherever they may be. Welcome into your kingdom all of our departed brothers and sisters, and all who have left this world in your friendship. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Bring those who refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we conclude, there are calendars by the exits of the doors that you'll go out if you have not received any. If you got one on the way in or a bulletin on the way in, please, please make sure that you take whatever you brought in or got here home with you. Um, hopefully, we will have a good week. Several people asked me what happened to baby Jesus outside in the um, nativity. I could say that somebody took him, but honestly, I forgot to put him out. And with the cold weather, I think it was better to leave stayed inside on the morning. <laughs> I was in a parish where every uh, Christmas there would be a woman who uh, what, got the uh, infant Jesus from the manger outside and she would crochet him a blanket and uh, an outfit. But I'm not looking for that. He already had a spot on clothes, so I'll put him out and send it. Any questions? <laughs> The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 Almighty God bless and keep us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our is ended. Let us go in peace, loving one another as family. Thank you. Uh, if anyone asks, we are charging $10 an hour for ice skating outside. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have lights, so that will take place tomorrow after 11.15. <laughs> I will have